guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some unique crafts to make your sorority little. So the big little gifts differ from each school. I know a lot of southern schools give like baskets throughout the week, but for my sorority we give a little gift each day leading up to big little reveal. And then on initiation we give them a big basket filled with everything KD because after that they're official members of Kappa Delta so they can put their decal on their car and stuff like that. I am for sure gonna do a video on what I got my little for initiation, and I'm so excited to do that video. Initiation was supposed to be today, but because of Hurricane Matthew, we had to postpone it, even though it's like super sunny outside, but everyone pretty much went home. After this video, I will be uploading my big little reveal vlog, so get excited for that. So every day with each of these gifts, we give them a little hint and kind of telling them who we are. For example, if some people have random bigs, they will actually try to like help them out and help them guess who it is. But if the little already kind of has an idea who their big is, the big kind of tries to throw them off so they kind of lie in their hints. So for example, some of my lies were, I'm from Florida, which yes, I was born here, but I'm like not really from Florida. I only lived here for like three years when I was born. And then I have two dogs, which I don't. I don't think she even knew that I had a dog, which I don't know how. I literally talk about Nucci all the time. <laughs> and then I said I was the same major as her, which she knows I'm an RTV pending student and she's an ad PR. But she told me that she knew the whole entire time and she was just like, yeah, I was just playing along with it. But I'm happy she did play along with it because if she was like, oh my god, you're my big, like, aren't you? I would have felt so awkward. With every gift, we put a note, and sometimes people will put candy. Like, the last day I did the shadow box, I thought that was kind of plain, so I decided to get her four mini cupcakes and a Starbucks gift card. And I wanted to spoil her even more because, I don't know, I just love giving gifts and, like, seeing people happy. So, one day, I actually went to TJ Maxx, got a basket, and filled it with, like, really cute goodies. I got some double-stuffed Oreos because she only likes double-stuffed. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> And then I got lotion and then a candle and a mug and just like all those really cute things And then I had it delivered to her because obviously I couldn't give it to her But I was in the same room and she like literally turned red because she was so like embarrassed and it was really funny Obviously, I went kind of extreme with the gift giving and honestly any little would be happy with just these DIYs So please do not feel like you need to spend like all this money just to like make them happy. I swear your little is gonna love you no matter what, so don't even worry about it. So for each gift, I kind of went on Pinterest and just got some ideas and then put my own spin on it. So I personally think these ideas are pretty unique and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. And if you just got your little, congratulations. And maybe you can share this video with her so she can kind of get an idea of crafting for next year. All right, let's get on to the DIYs. On the first day, we give our littles candles, and some people buy them, and some people DIY them. You're gonna need any wine or martini glass, then this little mirror plate, and I found this at Hobby Lobby for $4. Then get some fake flowers, my sorority's flower is the white rose. Then a plain white candle. Then some super glue, and I actually recommend Gorilla Glue over this one. Then the best part of this DIY is this liquid leaf, and I'm literally obsessed with this. I put it on everything you'll see in this video. So to get started, I'm taking my liquid leaf and painting the bottom of the glass gold. While we wait for that to dry, we can start on designing our candle. I decided to do a simple strip on my candle, so I took this painter's tape to make it really clean. Next we can paint the mirror part and I didn't want to cover the whole mirror so I did this simple strip just like on the candle. To define the white rose I wanted to paint the edges of the petals with this gold leaf. This DIY is a little bit everywhere because we were trying to wait for everything to dry, but now we can go back to our candle and rip the painter's tape off. So I just hot glued the rose to the mirror because it was a lot thicker than the super glue, so it made it stand up better. Then we can kind of place our glass on top of the mirror just to see where we want it to go and then super glue it. And finally, we can super glue the candle to the base of the glass.
I would say this candle is more for decoration purposes, but I love this idea of kind of tying in your sorority symbols with it. The second day we gave our littles letters, it could be a KD or their initials. I got these marquee letters at Michael's. They were having a sale on them, so they were $4 each. It was insane. And then I just took these old jeans and cut them up. So the first thing I'm doing is tracing the letter on the jeans and try to overline it because you're gonna want that extra fabric to distress. The next step is to cut the letter out and like I said before, try to leave more space than less. If it is a little short in some areas, you can kind of stretch it out and super glue it where it needs to be. So now we're going to distress the jeans and I actually found that once I super glued the jeans onto the letter, it was a lot easier and less dangerous to distress them. So that's just a tip for when you guys recreate this. Next, you're going to want to make the holes for the marquee lights, and I know I showed a hole puncher, but that did not work, so make sure you have an X-Acto knife to do this. The last step is to glue it all down, and your DIY is ready. You can obviously do this DIY with any fabric. My little actually really likes denim, and I thought it looked so trendy and cool. This candy jar DIY isn't really a gift on its own for a certain day, but I decided to give it to her with the letters. So first you're going to want to get a jar and fill it with Swedish fish, and then trace the top of the mason jar on a sheet of paper, and then you can write out of all the fish in the sea, you are the little for me. I should have wrote this more centered because it was kind of cut off by the lid, but then you're just going to super glue the paper onto the lid. I thought it was a little plain, so I added a white bow. I was actually pretty lucky because my little's favorite candy was Swedish Fish, but if your little likes chocolate instead, you can still do this DIY just for the show and just give her like a box of chocolates too. The third day we were supposed to give them any sort of picture board or bulletin board. For this DIY, I needed a canvas, some mini clothes pins, Gorilla Glue, an ombre of paints, and then some suede string. So first I'm going to be painting the bottom quarter with my lightest color, which was white. I know that the canvas is already white, but I wanted it to show a little bit of texture. Then I'm going in with my next ombre color, and I'm just going to be doing the same thing. You can mix paints, but I just wanted to save myself that hassle, plus these paints were pretty cheap. Then repeating the step with the darkest gray. And finally, we're going to go in with black. Then when the whole canvas is dry, we're going to use our liquid leaf and put your sorority's name on the canvas. I wrote Kappa Delta on this canvas with pencil before I did gold paint because I did not want it to mess up, even though I still did. Then taking the same gold paint, we're going to be painting our clothes pins. Next, we're going to be using that fox suede cord. At first, I wanted to do gray, but it kind of like all clashed, so I went with black. And I'm just positioning this so that the clothes pin doesn't block the Kappa Delta. Then I'm Gorilla gluing the fox suede cord into place. The last step is to just print out pictures of your little. Obviously, you can't be in them, unfortunately, because they don't know who you are just yet. But you can always take some off her Instagram or Facebook. That's just what I did. And on the last day of Big Little Gifts, we give our littles our family poem. For this DIY, you're going to need a shadow box, some scrapbooking paper, and just some things that you might want to put in it. So for example, I use KD and a white rose. So first, I just pinned the scrapbooking paper, and then I kind of laid everything out how I wanted it to be, and then pinned everything down.
This DIY is really plain, but it's kind of meant for them to make it their own. I told my little to put her bid day card in there and maybe her pin when she gets it. Another tip for you guys is try looking at Walmart before you go into Hobby Lobby or Michaels because this memory box was $10 at Walmart and at Michaels it was $30 for the same dimensions. Like what the heck? I hope you guys really enjoyed all of my DIYs. Comment down below your favorite DIY from this video. Mine would probably be the denim marquee letters because I love anything with like Christmas lights in them. There are gonna be two more sorority videos after this, a what I got for my little and a big little reveal vlog. I also made a really cute video of the actual big little reveal. It's on Capital UCF's YouTube channel. So if you guys wanna check that out too, then the link will be down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.